video what's poppin with you though it's your boy caro before we get started to this video just wanted to wish you all a happy christmas or happy holidays whatever you celebrate i don't really care what you celebrate but whatever you do i hope you have a good one there's only three days till christmas and i know this is the time where youtubers might take off uh might like take time off for themselves so i don't know if i'll be uploading anymore in 2017 or if i might like, just wait till 2018 to upload again but if this is the last upload of 2017, then I hope you guys had a good one. I just wanted to say that this channel has had amazing growth over the past year. We doubled subscribers. At the beginning of 17, we were at like 700 subscribers. Now we're at 1,400, so that's just absolutely insane to me. But regardless, what we're here for today is a nice and clean VGC 18 Championship Battle Spot, Wi-Fi Battle, whatever you want to call it against Israel VGC 17 or Israel VGC I didn't even notice the name at first but after looking up the name this dude is the national champion of Mexico so go check him out I'll probably leave his link to his Twitter in the description he also does have a YouTube channel but I might just link the Twitter because I'm pretty sure his YouTube channel is just all in like like all his videos are in Mexican obviously like different language than English so I'm not sure if you guys would be able to even really like get most knowledge of watching his videos but regardless we're here i'm battling him national champion of mexico 2016 so this is crazy i'm still using my incineroar team i'm using incineroar landorus assault vest landorus a moon gift so I'm nice and powerful moon it's a very good pokemon to partner up with incineroar and my tapu fini is his as he is using mimikyu arcanine tapu fini and stack attack so it looks like a very 2017-ish team and then a set stack attack on so regardless we're jumping into this battle because it has uh there's some funny things going on and we also listen to that Hoenn battle music because Hoenn music is in Old Sun Ultra Moon I love listening to that Hoenn wild pull one battle theme so he's gonna be leading off with the Mimikyu and the stack attacker nice and powerful leads obviously trick room I'm using Incineroar and Landorus so I just wanted to lead off with Landorus because Landorus had a very good matchup against this team because he had the Arcanine he has stack attacker uh, Mimikyu can't really take an Earthquake that well, so I saw Landers is probably just an overall good lead. The Tapu Fini was like one of his only few Pokemon that he can actually take Earthquakes with. So I used Fake Out of Stack Attack because I can't Fake Out Mimikyu. And I go with the Rock Slide trying to flinch it so it can't get off the Z Destiny Bond or the Trick Room. I do get to be able to break the Disguise because that's what Rock Slide does. It doesn't do any damage on the first turn, but I am able to break Mimikyu's Disguise. But unfortunately, he does not get the flinch, and we're going to be able to see that Z Destiny Bond right away. So, if you don't know, Z Destiny Bond essentially makes you, it essentially puts the follow me stats on the Pokemon. So, for that turn, all attacks are directed to it. And now that he's going to go over the Trick Room, which is going to be, the Trick Room's always going last. Essentially, if I kill Mimikyu this turn, I, one of my Pokemon dies too. So, I'd rather get the take out one of his Pokemon. I mean, I'd rather get the take out Mimikyu at the cost of one of my own Pokemon. Or he gets Trick Room up. So I use Protect. Stag Attack, he uses Protect because we both of us don't want to take Earthquakes right now. And Landers just has to go straight into this Mimikyu slot. I just want to. I know Stag Attack probably couldn't take an Earthquake that well, and Mimikyu can probably take it because of the spread damage. If it was not spread, I probably wouldn't have taken it that well. But Trick Room is up right now, and Stag Attack under Trick Room is a huge threat. Usually Incineroar and Amoongus would be able to take advantage of this, but. Just because Stag Attack is so insanely powerful and slow, I'm not really able to take the best of this. So, Arcanine is going to come out. And Arcanine and Stag Attack, uh, even with the Intimidate, that is going to be a very clean and powerful Earthquake for my Landorus slot to go into. So, Stag Attack is going to use Gyro Ball. And just look at how much damage this Gyro Ball does. That's at minus one, mind you. So, that's just insane. I used Earthquake, as I said before, and it doesn't take out Stag Attack because of the Intimidate, and Arcanine also takes a decent amount of damage. But, the Stag Attack is revealed to have the Agua Berry, one of those 50% Pinch Berries. So, he's gonna get all of his HP back on that Earthquake, and he's gonna insist on switching out the uh, Stag Attack right there to get in Tapu Fini. That way, Amoongus can't spore anyone. I actually made a pretty big misplay this turn, so I switched out my Landorus into my own Tabu Fini, which, again, both Tabu Finis would have put up the Misty Terrain, but I clicked Spore here, forgetting about Misty Terrain, so that's, uh, that's a bad play on my part. But fortunately enough, he uses Flare Blitz onto my Tabu Fini slot, so Tabu Fini can definitely take a minus one Flare Blitz, and Arcanine is not looking that healthy right now, so he's gonna have to switch out his Arcanine 
and goes into stag attack. Uh, I saw his like, clean muddy water off because he has he has no switches for muddy water right now. So I use Giga Drain on Taiwo Phoenix, my strong attack to hit because I don't carry the Sludge Bomb. This does a decent amount of damage, and I'm able to get more precious health back on my Amoongus, but unfortunately I miss the muddy water, and that is huge. That is absolutely huge because muddy water would have done a huge amount to stag attack. Uh, and I would have been able to focus it down this turn with rather a Giga Drain or a Muddy Water on my Tapu. Actually, I would have been able to protect on Tapu Fini and then use Giga Drain for the KO on the next turn. But, unfortunately, he's going to be able to use Swagger, which doesn't confuse that attack because of the Misty Terrain, but does increase his attack power. I used Rage Power there because I was expecting Gyro Ball because it would have went into a Moogus Slide and Moogus could have taken it, but he goes with the Rock Slide, which does activate Tapu Fini's Pinch Bear, so that's perfect for me. But it's not Pokemon because I get a flinch, so one turn I miss Muddy Water, and on the second turn I try to use Muddy Water, I get a flinch. So this stag attack is, un is an unnecessary threat right now. It shouldn't even be alive right now, but unfortunately it's just going ham on my team. Is he going to be able to use another Moonblast on my Tapu Fini slot? Muddy Water, fortunately enough for me, connects on both Pokemon right now. It is able to do a nice amount of damage to Stag Attacka, and then I'm forced to Giga Drain Stag Attacka because it's just too much of a threat right now. And like I said, though that flinch and miss definitely mattered because if not, I could have been able to hit the Muddy Water on the previous turn, protect on Tapu Fini, and then Giga Drain the Stag Attacka earlier. But unfortunately, both of my Pokemon had to take significantly more damage than they needed to. So. Tabu Fini is going to hit, hit by the play rough but I am going to live because my Tabu Fini is pretty bulky. Is a Moongus is going to be able to dodge Moonblast because I have Muddy Water accuracy drop from before. And a Moonblast is going to be able to take out Mimikyu. So, a little bit of justice right there. But at the same time, it's a Moongus. I really don't care about a Moongus taking a uh, Moonblast. I resist it and I'm getting Giga Drain health back. But, his Tabu Fini is also a 50% Pinch Berry. So... He gets a lot of his health back just like that, and I'm just like, okay, how many 50% Pinch Spears can you have on one team? Arcanine's gonna come out, and is also on very low health right now, so... I'm not too scared of Arcanine, I could probably protect on Amoongus and Muddy Water is probably the best play, but at the same time, my Tapu Fini is slower than his Tapu Fini, despite him being a Trick Room team, and he'd be able to take me out the Moon Blast. So I use the Rage Powder just in case he wants to do Extreme Speed Tapu Fini, but he does make the good play. And Flare Blitzes Amoongus, which is going to take my Amoongus out from where it's at. He's going to activate the Rocky Helmet, which activates his 50% Pinch Berry. So three out of the four Pokemon on his team are 50% Pinch Berry. So would you look at that? <laughs> like, it's so, I don't know, that's so weird to me. But, you know, it's definitely working out in his favor because every single Pinch Berry activates on this on his team at the moment. Because not all my Pokemon can get those Okos. So Tapu Fini and Amoongus go down, it's double down, so now I only have Incineroar and Landorus left, so... It's not looking that bad, but it's not looking that good. It's looking like it could be anyone's game right now. It depends on who I fake out and then use the Rock Slide on, so... I get the Intimidate off, so Arcanine's not really a threat, so I try to fake out the Tapu Fini right now. But he makes the right call and protects on Tapu Fini. And while I use fake out on, and that is so bad for me. It was, just, it was honestly just a 50-50 there. Because if I would have faked out Arcanine, I would not have taken that extreme speed damage. But just look at how much damage this Rock Slide does. And Arcanine lives on a sliver. So if I used fake out on Arcanine, Arcanine would have been gone. I would have been able to protect on Incineroar, then Earthquake the Tapu Fini, and then just use Melissa Smoose on the next turn. But unfortunately, extreme speed goes in the Landorus. I'm down to just Incineroar versus Tapu Fini and Arcanine. Incineroar can definitely take at least one Muddy Water, and my hope is that Incineroar is strong enough to take out Tapu Fini with the Malicious Moonsault. So if I can take out Tapu Fini with that Malicious Moonsault, then I'm still in the game because I don't think it's Arcanine can take out Incineroar at minus one, and then I can Darkest Larry and Incineroar for the K R Darkest Larry and Arcanine for the KO. So, can we get the KO with Darkest Lariata? No, we cannot. That Tabu Fini unfortunately lives, and right now, I'm just gonna use Protect because there's a reason why I'm using Protect right now. Don't get me wrong, I'm not stalling. I'm not stalling or anything. I'm just, I'm just, there's a reason I'm Protect. I'm not, I'm not just PP stalling or nothing like that. Don't get me wrong. So, Extreme Speed Muddy Water doesn't matter. I'm gonna have to use Protect again, but I actually get this is the only time I've ever gotten double Protects off in VGC, ever. So, Extreme Speed doesn't matter. 
Muddy Water. Doesn't matter because I got the double protect off. And my opponent's timer ran out. <laughs> so, <laughs> my opponent's timer, I noticed uh, that last two turns, I had like two minutes left on the clock. My opponent had like 10 seconds. So if I got the double protect, he wouldn't be able to click all the buttons in that 10 second time period. And his timer ran out. And when your timer runs out, we come out with the W. <laughs> Who's ever, like if you run out of time, the other person wins. So, since I had two minutes left and he had no time left, I automatically won, even though he had an Arcanaut and a Tabu Fini, and all I had left was Incineroar and half health. So, you can even see it right there. A win by decision because the time ran out. So, the na I just beat the national champion of Mexico 2016 because the timer ran out. And do I feel bad about it? No! No! I don't feel bad about it at all! You know why I don't feel mad about it at all? You want, no, why, you want to know why I don't feel bad about the hip, me getting the double protect off and me winning that way? Because I missed a muddy water on his stack attack coming in, and then he flinched me on the next turn with rock slide, so that stack attack had no place in doing so much damage to my Tabu Fini in the first place. My Tabu Fini should have been on, like, so much more hell than it should have then had at the end of that battle. So, do I feel bad about it? Nah, at all. I embrace those wins. I take them. That's what you get for hacks to me. <laughs> uh, in my all seriousness, I just had to upload that battle because it was probably the funniest way I've ever won a Wi-Fi battle. Period. I don't think I've ever won a Wi-Fi battle in that fashion ever before in my life. So, like, comment, subscribe. Care Care Studio. And I hope you guys have a happy holidays. Join my Discord if you haven't already. Link to it is in the description down below. And if I don't upload for the rest of 2017, then I'll see you guys in 2018. If not, then I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.